Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would um, start a little series. I've had a lot of questions um, from people who are new to the junk journal world and I've been asked, well, they're great, but how do you use them? So um, I thought I would show you one way to use them. This is the way um, that I am inclined. Um, I do write, I am a writer, but I don't write a whole lot about my own life. I write stories, but not about me. And, but I wanted a keepsake book for um, my thoughts and, you know, just daily things that go through my head that I, that I wanted to keep. And so um, this is actually my journal. Um, I made it about, oh my goodness, over a year ago and I have not written in it yet because I had a lot of journals from a lot of friends where um, they would send me journals and so I've I've had lots of journals to use to write down you know certain things but I thought I would use this one to start kind of a, a an unwritten note to self kind of a diary thing so um, it does have some ephemera already in it and it does have um, some of my favorite poet, uh, poets like this is Conrad Aiken, um, their Baudelaire is in here um, and then also some of my own works are in this book as well. But I wanted to add some pages that dealt with um, some other things. And so today I was thinking about my grandmother and uh, my grandmother, her name is Virginia, and she passed away um, several years ago, but she and I were very, very close. And so I was thinking about her today and some of the <laughs> some of the funny nuances, you know, that you have about about grandparents. I was very fortunate. As far as grandparents go, I had like fairy tale, you know, sitcom, leave it to beaver, just the greatest grandparents ever. <laughs> um, all four of them were, were wonderful people. But today I'm going to focus on, on my grandma Virginia, and this was my mom's mom. So, um, and I have to say that it was my mom's mom and not just grandma Virginia because my dad's mother's name was also Virginia. So... So yeah, both of my grandmothers were named Virginia, and until I was about five years old, I thought everybody's grandma was named Virginia, so yeah. So here is a nice blank page at the beginning of this journal, and this is going to be my Grandma Virginia page. And what I am going to do is find something to weigh this down. Just weigh it down, man. Let's see, how about... How about a stapler? There we go. So instead of writing a whole lot, what I have done is I have collected some things that remind me of my grandmother. So this is a picture of my grandmother and her little chow chow dog um, back in the day. So I have a picture of her. I have... Um, she loved to cook, she loved to bake, and one of the things that she was known for was her Anadama bread. And so this is a little, um, like a newspaper cut out of the Anadama bread recipe. Um, she loved to travel, so here is a little luggage ticket, like a sticker. And here's another, this is for um, like a railroad ticket, so I got that too. And then this is a little um, hotel, like the top of a hotel receipt. So I've got that. She loved to sew. Um, well, I don't know how much she loved to sew. She had seven kids, so she did a lot of sewing. Um, so here is just a scrap of like calico fabric. She did love, however, to crochet. And so I have some yarn. My grandmother was known for her interesting um, crocheted items. She would take, she would, she would crochet like afghans, like full size afghans. And then she'd have like little bits of color left over. And she would crochet them into these big, huge 
Um, you know those braided rugs with the, you know, the circles that you start in the middle and you keep... She did those, but she crocheted them out of all the little bits of extra, of extra yarn. So they were like crazy. They were awesome. So got that. Um, she also loved to read. So I have a piece of a book page. I thought maybe I'd do some blackout art or something, some word art. And then just an interesting scrap piece of vintage paper. And then I have a um, quote that um, really means a lot to me, especially because, um, well, I've been a photographer for over a decade now. And while I don't really photograph people anymore, I think it's an important thing to... Um, to document your life and so I love this quote if you don't think photos are important wait until they are all you have left and isn't that true so you know that's because that's kind of all you have left in the end so this is what I am going to do I'm going to grab a piece of parchment paper so in case I need to glue something down um, this this page this is a front page from a book from 1902 and this was sent to me by Caroline. Hi Caroline! And um, the pages were all falling out and so I thought how beautiful this page was. I mean it's, in, look they even like taped it back together and then there's an inscription up on top. It's just, you know, it's just an, it's a neat thing. It's older than my grandmother was. She was born in 1921, I believe. So but anyway, this is 1902, but still super cool. So this is going to be the base for um, my Nana collage. So that's going to go on the bottom. But what I want to do, I'm going to set the book aside because I'm going to build I'm going to build part of this base and then we'll put it in the book and then we can finish up. So let's start with, with this guy. And like I said, I like the word art. I want to make sure Nana is front and center. And I'm going to kind of black out some of these words that don't mean as much to me and we're gonna leave what I want and it's just a tiny little a tiny little thing not a big deal but just something something I think about all the time okay probably good enough got blacked out enough to where you can you only notice what I want you to notice, huh? Trim this down a bit. So I just left, there we go, I miss you. So that's gonna go on there somewhere. And she also loved gardening. So I have some little stamps um, we kept bees at the ranch, so there is a bee, and there's another stamp, and then um, I have these little letter stamps too, and I was going to get out the V for Virginia, so maybe we'll use those too. All right, so let's start putting this dude together. How much space do I have? Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got a little bit above this, so I can either tuck this right here, which I think is a great idea. I don't know why, it just is. So we're going to put this up at the tippity top. Just kind of off center it. I'm going to leave this wording, this inscription from this book. Um, gonna pay pay some respect to to this book and Nana needs to go and I didn't call her Nana, we called her grandma. <laughs> but that needs to go there. How tall is this? 
probably trim this down a titch. Um, and ink up this edge since it's bare now. So perhaps something over here. I want to cover up that tape though, not all of it. I just maybe a little bit like that. So maybe we'll do like that. And then the anadama bread. <laughs> Maybe it could just be right down there at the bottom, kind of hanging off. I should scoot this up so you can see it more. Now that I'm working at the bottom down here. So maybe something about like that. And our little hotel thingy receipt. So the hotel receipt needs to go, hmm, maybe it needs to tuck underneath here, like so. And then I will probably put the fabric here. And what did I do? Here it is. <laughs> the yarn. Put a piece of the yarn and this will probably hang out down there. Okay. And do we want some green? Do we want to brighten this up with some green? Do we want to? Do we want to? Maybe, maybe that should go like over, over like this over there. And then to top it off, we have our quotes. That we can put right like this. Like something like that. Okay, and one of my students actually was super smart and because I wasn't <laughs> and she said that when she gets when she gets um, something that she kind of likes like if she's gonna be doing something she takes a picture of it I thought oh well that's genius um, so I'm gonna take a picture of that so that I don't forget um, what that looks like because now I got to kind of take it apart here well, I'll go ahead and glue this one up here because it's all hanging out by itself. Like that. Just kind of. There we go. And if we have to trim some stuff off later to uh, have it fit on the page, no big deal. So take that off. And now we're going to glue this guy onto the side. So glue that on. All right. Now we need to um, put Nana here and that. So let's go ahead and put Grandma down on the side. this and before it dries I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm trying not to make um, these uh, memory collage too um, thick so that it'll bulk up my book too much. Um, I'm going to be doing a, 
a like a canvas, a full size like canvas collage at some point. So um, that can be bulkier, but um, I'm trying not to make it too too hefty so that the the book is all out of wonky, you know. So let's put our bread recipe down in here. Um, I I was not horribly fond of Anadama bread. It was it's okay, um, but you know when you're a kid, it's not sweet. So unless you make you know unless you put jam on it or something, um, but it's made with um, corn. It has cornmeal in it. So it's kind of a real, um, oh, I think grandma thought it was wholesome because it had molasses and cornmeal and whole wheat and it was a hearty bread. <laughs> I'm sure people still make it. It was great for toast. That's what I liked it for. But for sandwiches, it was kind of, whew, it was a lot. It was, it was, it was a lot. It was heavy. It was like you got full before you even finished your sandwich because there were just there was so much bread. So let's put that right there. Just like that. And then we talked about the fabric. Should the fabric maybe go down here? Let's do something maybe in that direction. Why is every, every all my question, all my sentences end in question marks? <laughs> Let's just put a little bit of glue on the sky and we'll just do it this way instead. And then put that along, along the middle. Just like that. Okay, now for our, um, our words, our little words, and I think it might be a decent idea to ink up the edges with some distress ink, just so that um, there's some definition to the edges of the paper. And then when I'm done here, we can figure out if um, we want to stamp anything. Okay. So, this little guy. This was the first line of the quote. And that's gonna go right here between grandma's feet and where it says Anadama bread. <laughs> so right there. And then this is the next line. worrying about covering some things up. I'm just trying not to cover up the important, like I want to know that that's Anadama bread. That was, that's kind of important. Um, and then I'm going to do this one just right underneath that, like that. doesn't matter if they're straight. I mean, if you want to make them straight, go for it, but they don't have to be, they don't have to be straight. Nothing in my life was ever straight. My grandmother would have told you that. You guys would have loved her. She was a firecracker. She was, you know, five foot nothing. And it's a tiny little thing, but she was just, 
She was a force to be reckoned with, let me tell you. Okay. Now, I think that's enough as far as like um, collage parts. <laughs> So let's make sure we get the V for Virginia. And I'm just gonna use some distressing. This is walnut stain. Make sure that this is this one's about to about to be done, I think. I didn't even ask you where to put that. I just put it somewhere. Look at me being all presumptuous. Um, you know what? Let's open up the new guy. This one's okay for um, distressing with, distressing the edges, but um, for stamping, I don't have my other ink in here, so you know. So let's get a bee in there. Bees were kind of an important part of our, our life when I was growing up. Is that on there? Okay. And I'm just gonna put a bee right there. And then I'm gonna do, I think, just part of this little stamp. Maybe I'll do the whole thing. Is it going to cover up something though? I don't want to cover up anything super important here. I think that's okay. It didn't cover up anything super important. And then here's some little, some little leaves. So cute. I love these little tiny stamps. So cute. All right, and I guess I could put something up here. You know what? I'm gonna put another, another V up here on that tag. So here it is. Here's the top where we did our little blackout art and our luggage tag. We left the inscription. There's grandma and her puppy and the um, little hotel receipt, the B, our poem or a quote on top of the receipt and some more stamping and then our um, little textile collage down there on the bottom. Okay, let me set this. Kind of a side. And now we gotta put this in the book. So where was I? I was right here. So we might have to trim this because it might be <clears throat> might be too wide. So I gotta trim off just the edge of this, which is, you know, it's totally fine. It don't matter. I'm gonna ink the edge because that's what you people know, that's what I do. So we're gonna just ink that just a little bit just to make it, make it look like it belongs here. And there we go. And that will go right here on this page. So let me get my glue and put some glue on the back of this guy. And I'm gonna try and do this with you guys um, like once a week. We will tackle a page, and sometimes it will, you know, it can be a family member. Sometimes it's just a, a thought. Um, maybe it's an inspirational quote. You know, it could be anything, really. It's just kind of daily, daily thoughts that turn into, you know, a little bit of artwork here and there. And uh, this, is, this is just another way to express yourself. Um, doesn't have to be with words all the time. It can be, it can be with art. So let's express ourselves with some art.
Okay. So this is all about my grandmother, Virginia. And perhaps we'll do the other grandma, Virginia. <laughs> and my grandpa, Otto. But I think it looks great. I think it looks great in the book. And she is a wonderful addition and a great way to start off this journal um, with my grandma. So thank you guys for um, journal journaling. <laughs> thank you guys for collaging, um, memory collaging with me today. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope it makes you think of maybe somebody in um, your family or somebody that had made an impression upon you. And get out some things that um, remind you of them. And make a page, dedicate a page in your journal to somebody special today. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me, and I will catch you really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.